hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great today's video i am going to be discussing fenty skin yes finally your girl was able to cop these locally we'll get into all of that and they were hella pricey you know actually in trinidad we know that prices are inflated but these were super inflated if you ask me but i really did want to try them and i know so much of y'all have been requested please try it let us know if it would the money if it would the hassle so if you want to know how these products have been working for me for the last three weeks which is how long i've been using it consistently throughout my routine then keep on watching So as most of us know by now, Fenty Skin launched a couple of months ago and they were exclusive to the Fenty Beauty website and I did get the early access and everything to purchase the entire set for 75 US which is honestly a really good price for three full size products so I was just like yes I'm gonna get it and then when I went to check out they weren't accepting credit cards not issued in the US that was like a huge bummer and to me if I was Bajan I would consider that a huge slap in my face because you're using ingredients from my country from your Caribbean country really how could you not give me access to it so I was kind of disappointed by just how exclusive it was so it was kind of like do i still want to get this do, do i go through the hassle of having a friend send it over and then i was just like you know what no nothing is worth all of this trouble if it ever comes to sephora which by the way i think it is coming to sephora in december so if you are thinking about getting it maybe you could wait until then that is what i was gonna do but then i saw belarus had it here locally and of course it was like limited sets available so i called them and asked them to hold an entire set for me and it was so nice the customer service was really great but we're gonna get into the prices and all of that soon i'll go into each one individually but um i did find the price even locally to be very high like we already know we have marked up prices here like by 20 percent basically but this was just a little bit extra and i get it because of the demand for it and the hype around it but this cost me 940 tt dollars that's basically a thousand tt dollars for a skincare set that's a lot of money thankfully my brother did gift me this set he did buy it for me he went with me and he was like yeah Go ahead like yourself i do have a very good brother i love him a lot but on my own i don't think i would have put out that much money for a skincare set that's just me so how i'm going to do this review i'm going to discuss each product the price the ingredients the claims that the products have and how it fits into my experience and whether i would recommend them or not possibly mention any dupes and we do have one so stay tuned the first product in this lineup is their Total Cleanser, which retails for 25 US or 270 TT dollars. And this is a daily cleanser as well as a makeup remover. And also the ingredients in here are super amazing. There's the Barbadian Cherry, and which actually has more vitamin C than orange what that is insane i mean a cherry but that is super crazy also it does have green tea as well as ginkgo biloba and so many other wonderful ingredients and i was really surprised to see that all of those great ingredients in here for the price point like she really made really quality products and ingredients available to us for a very good price so i appreciate that a lot this i did find to cleanse my skin without any stripping whatsoever of my natural facial oils it did work amazing at removing makeup as a second cleanse of course with any cleanser i always go in with a cleansing melt or a cleansing oil first to break down makeup and then i go in with a cleanser and this was really really good it's a very creamy thick moisturizer i also noticed that you don't need to use a lot of this cleanser to feel clean it really does get in there it does a great job it lathers nicely it's very thick and creamy which is good and i think all skin types will enjoy this even oily skin types 
this is amazing i also noticed how hydrated my skin looks after not like greasy or slippery or anything but it does it feels comfortable my skin doesn't feel tight and like it just wants to you know it just feels so good good things aside i know the fragrance presence in these products have been very controversial for the last couple of months in fact since they launched and it has deterred a lot of people from purchasing the products and in terms of the cleanser it's a very strong fragrance i will admit that and i even tested it to the point where i used it and i didn't apply any moisturizer nothing after just that one day so that i can really see if the fragrance of this cleanser alone lingers and it did it did like it went straight up until i want to say it was six hours i checked i think it was six hours and i was still smelling this cleanser so it is highly fragranced with coconut and the cherry in there it's a very sweet fragrance personally i don't mind fragrance i find it to be part of the skincare experience for me i like it i enjoy it and that's because i don't have sensitive skin however people who do have sensitive skin who do have sensitive allergies to fragrance y'all need to be careful or wait until they come out with a fragrance free collection hopefully they do because so much people have complained about it so i think they might listen but this is very heavily fragrant so please be careful if you have allergies and the ultimate question will i buy this again yes but not in a rush and that's only because i have so much other cleansers in my collection that i have to go through and that i want to go through so if i do run out of a cleanser again that i need to remove makeup or just a daily cleanser i would get this again but when they're at sephora i'm not paying local price for this it's too much money the second product of fenty skin is the real reason why i bought this entire set it's why i was even invested in fenty skin and that is their fat water this is their pore refining toner serum it is a two-in-one product that retails for 28 us dollars or 300 tt dollars this is my baby here spoiler alert it's my favorite favorite product of this bunch this is packed with so much great ingredients the first one being my favorite skincare ingredient niacinamide so that acts as the serum part of this product there's also australian lemon myrtle and witch hazel which acts as the toner parts of the product of course there are other hydrating ingredients including the barbadian cherry there's cactus flower in here which really helps to hydrate so again wonderful ingredients in here and the price is not bad at all considering it's like a two-in-one product the packaging also operates very similar to the cleanser in that it has this twist cap so you pour it out then you twist it back to close and then you take the product and you just kind of warm it up on your hand a little bit and then you press it in almost like an essence so it really adds to like a really nice and just personal experience there is a very pampering routine i really appreciated that but this leaves my skin super hydrated like sometimes i don't even feel it's necessary to go in with a moisturizer that is how hydrating this is honestly this is a new staple for me this is one i would actually keep repurchasing like i would not want this to be out of my collection it worked really well with all of my other products especially when i use this at night it worked well with my retinol it's, it's just a really good tuna serum product and of course the main concern the fragrance this actually has the mildest scent of the three products it's not offensive at all it's definitely there you definitely smell it but it is not as strong as the others and because it's a toner and serum you almost always go in with another product after so the scent just kind of dissipates after anyway so i don't think the fragrance in this would be so much of an issue but overall this is my favorite and i would highly recommend trying this because the niacinamide in here does reduce dark spots and i did notice around my nose here it started to fade and i was just like what am i doing different and then i was like oh my god it's this this is a powerful product. 
the final product of this trio is the Hydrovisor, which is a two-in-one moisturizer and sunscreen with SPF 30. This retails for 35 US dollars or 370 TT dollars. The first thing that caught my eye with this is the packaging. It's super sleek and it is refillable. So every time you purchase this product, you don't need to buy the canister. All you have to do is buy the refill and then you just plop it in there, kind of fits in, just wiggle it in and it just pumps up and out like this and then you pump to actually get the product. Now, I feel like this I definitely have the most critique for and that is because I just I don't know if I really love it just yet i feel like i need to definitely play with this a bit more it does work well under makeup there's no flashback no pilling any kind of weirdness like that but even for me who loves hydrating products and this does contain a lot of hydrating ingredients in here like kalahari melon hyaluronic acid and i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right is it baobab Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but all of these are very hydrating products. And while I appreciate that, even for me, I find it a little bit heavy. On the days that I did try like half of a pump to, you know, not feel so heavy, it's just not enough. And then when I go in with the extra half a pump, I feel greasy. I don't know if I like this product. Granted that my skin does feel softer and smoother when this product is applied, I still don't know if that is enough to justify repurchasing this product. So I definitely will test it out a little bit more and see how I feel about it. It has the strongest fragrance of all the three products. This is straight up Victoria's Secret Cream. That kind of strong. It is too much for a face cream in my opinion especially during the daytime I don't need to have all that fragrance on my face bro it is too much in my opinion and I'm saying that and I love fragrance so you know if I could say a product is too heavily fragrance you know this thing smelling sweet and it might possibly give you a headache and the reason why I'm being a little bit hard on this product is because I do have a sunscreen that cost only 50 $15.15 TT dollars. I spoke about this in numerous like current favorites and even on Instagram, especially on Instagram. I recommend this so much. You get this at Pennywise, people. Pennywise. This is by the brand Alba Botanica and this is actually reef friendly as well. This as well is squirrel reef friendly. So bonuses on both sides, but 35 US, 15 TT dollars. And this one actually has a higher SPF. This has SPF 30, this has SPF 45, as well as a lot of hydrating ingredients in here. And the active ingredients in this product, the first two, is the same as the Fenty Skin. I think I spoiled myself with just this affordable product, which is why I'm having such a hard time justifying buying a expensive moisturizer slash sunscreen. When this works just as well under makeup, it works perfectly fine, no white cast, no pilling, no weirdness. It's not as greasy. I feel like this just sinks into my skin very well and I don't know, this is just a little bit lighter than this and the formula to me is slightly better. So. I don't know if I'm in a rush to repurchase this. The good thing is I'll only have to repurchase the refill, but that's a big if. I guess this is one product, only time will tell if I get to like it more and more as I use it. So I'll keep you all updated if I change my mind about this. So overall, what I would recommend is that if you are someone new to skincare and you don't know where to start, like how to build a routine, how to build a collection, I would actually recommend this entire line. It's super, super beginner friendly. They came out with a cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer. The good thing about it is that the toner also has a serum built in. So you get that benefit of the serum without having an extra step, as well as the moisturizer. You get the hydrating ingredients as well as the protection from the sun, which is totally necessary. Overall, it's a good starter. And here's what I would recommend if you are a skincare junkie and you have a ton of products in your collection just like myself. The cleanser, 
is nothing new that we haven't seen before it's a two-in-one product that you can use daily or you can use it to remove makeup it's nothing wow it's nothing different that we haven't seen before but it does work great it does a good job the toner i would recommend to anyone whether you're starting up or whether you are a skincare pro this is a really really good toner serum it saves you an extra step so if you're a busy gal this will come in really handy and it does work like i'm seeing results with this and i'm going to keep using it and i will repurchase this is a new staple in my collection now for this big girl here i am still on the fence about it i definitely would not recommend until i feel comfortable enough with the product so i don't know it's still iffy about it the packaging is cool you know it's fun it's nice the whole experience was great but i was really spoiled by this product here i even have a backup of it and every time i go to pennywise i just grab one it's only 15 dollars so i don't know I'll, I'll have to see how i feel about the moisturizer sunscreen but i'll keep you all updated and that completes my review on this fenty skincare collection and i hope you guys found it informative somewhat helpful if it did please give your girl a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you think about this skincare line if you think you're gonna try something from it i would really love to hear from you all and if you are not subscribed to my channel please make sure that you do on your way out and if you are returning thanks for coming back i really appreciate you guys i think we could do the thousand subscribers you all just have to help me by sharing liking and commenting i would really appreciate it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!